Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Saturday mountain weather update. And man, we have an active jet stream on our hands. Here are my bullet points uh, for the next seven, eight, nine days. Powerful active flow across the west right off the Pacific is going to bring probably three to four different storm systems in through 323, 324, somewhere in there. And I'm uh, forecasting feet of total accumulation at a lot of western resorts. In fact, here are the, uh, the key dates for snowfall uh, across the west. Let me take off my... Uh, my video so you can see all the dates big sky the wasatch tetons colorado interior bc the pacific northwest tahoe in the northeast uh there are just like i said three four different storm systems you can see the different dates there for example on the wasatch you've got moderate snow accumulation today and some of that's going to be right off the great salt lake uh, that lake effect and then you got heavy snow coming in after in 17 18 heavy accumulation on 320 and heavy on 322. looking at tahoe you've got another big storm coming on the 17th and then some light to moderate accumulations on 320. Let me drill down here to um, Alta Ski Area. So this forecast is effective at about 9,000 feet. And I'll tell you what, it, there's a little bit of residual snow, like I said, moderate accumulations today through tomorrow off the Salt Lake. And some of the winds are blowing about 30 to 35 miles per hour. And you can see the wind direction out of the west-northwest. So that's gonna bring that snow in. Then you get a break early 17 and then there comes another storm system late 17 into 18 and there's another storm even beyond this and through this period alone this model cranks out about 16 17 18 inches of snow cold today high temps about 18 up there at 9,000. tomorrow a warming trend in the afternoon a bump to 33 34 35 on monday and then it turns colder as that next storm system uh, moves in all right let me take you to jenny lake wyoming up there and this is going to be a good period for the Tetons, right in the middle of this flow. Um, so a little residual snow today. And then you've got a more appreciable snow coming in on Sunday the 16th. And again, this is effective about 86, 8,700 feet. And then you've got heavy snow again on the 17th. And this model generates 16, 17, 18 inches of snow. And there's another storm after this. I think we're looking at feet, probably two to three feet of total accumulation down the road. Um, highs today 18, tomorrow 26 and 27 on Monday, and then falling, it turns colder. Winds are going to be blowing 40 to 50, pretty much out of the west southwest for the next couple of three days. So, really good pattern for the Tetons. Let's check the uh, jet stream uh, flow here. This is the, the wind forecast up at about 30,000 feet. So, what you're looking at here, the steering winds essentially, looking at the brighter colors, that's what's steering. That's a stronger win at 30,000 steering a storm system. You can see the big dip in the jet. We'll start this at about lunchtime today. Big dip in the jet. That's the storm system producing all that tornadic severe weather across the heartland and deep south. Today's going to be a, um, a really bad day for parts of uh, Alabama and Mississippi. Uh, and then behind it, let's move this ahead of time. Here's early on Sunday. Storm system moves to the Ohio Valley in the deep south. Um, okay, here comes the next storm system into the Pacific Northwest, California. This is lunchtime on Monday, March 17th. Then that storm squarely moves through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado. This is going to be a, a really solid period for Idaho as well. We've got some big time snows in central and northern Idaho. So there's early on Tuesday, March 18th, moves through. Here comes the next storm system in the flow. This is early on Thursday, March 20th. It moves through the Inner Mountain. And then here comes potentially another little weakness and dip in the jet very late in the period. Okay, let's look at snowfall accumulation over time. So remember on this, your light blues are going to be your lightest accumulations under three inches. Your greens are three to six, yellow is six plus, and red is 10 plus. So we'll start this at lunchtime today. You can see where the heaviest snow is. All right, here's early Sunday. Comes our storm system sliding south into the Sierra. Big snow in the Sierra on the 17th. Then it starts to generate pretty good snow in Utah, Wyoming, and then moves into Colorado. This is early on Tuesday, March 18th. And then that moves out into the plains. And then here comes the next storm system. So here's lunchtime on Thursday, March 20th. That moves through the Inner Mountain. And then another storm system behind that. This is early on Saturday, March 22nd. Then that nails the interior. Uh, and then there's another storm system up in the Pacific Northwest. This is uh, early on... This is lunchtime there on Sunday, March 23rd. So again, three to four different storm systems. Let's talk snow accumulation. 
Here's my snow forecast all of today through the 23rd. And we'll start in the Wasatch, and I've got two to three feet, two to three feet of accumulation there. Again, this is all the way through the 23rd. Up in the Tetons, looking at anywhere from basically two to three feet of accumulation there. In Colorado, it's one to two feet of accumulation across all mountain zones, less in parts of New Mexico. Arizona, six, seven, eight inches of snowball. Uh, in California, another one to two feet for uh, Mammoth up to Tahoe and potentially three feet at Shasta. And I've got some really big numbers through parts of Oregon, potentially four, five, six feet of accumulation during this time period. Probably two to three, maybe four feet up there at Whistler, Baker, Crystal, Stevens. Interior BC, 14 to 15 inches will do it. Four to six through parts of Sunshine and uh, Marmot Basin. Look at Idaho, central to northern Idaho, two to three feet of accumulation, and then some overrun right into northwest Montana with anywhere from one to two feet of accumulation. All right, let's look at the northeast. I, I really don't have much here, one to four inches of accumulation, and this doesn't come until very late in the period, probably 320, 321, 322, somewhere in there because it's going to be rain late 316, 317. So that's going to that's going to limit uh, any, I mean, we're starting to get to that time of the year where it's really starting to warm up. But all right, last stop, we'll just go back to our western map here. And guys, it's going to be a great period. A really nice way to round out March all the way through the 23rd, 24th. We're looking at three to four different storm systems. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.